Good morning, everyone. Before we get into this morning's update, I'd like to touch base on exactly what we're going to be going through step by step by step. There's going to be a lot of information here, so please bear with me as this is going to take just over 20 minutes to get done with this morning update. But by the time we're done, you're not going to have any uh, questions left asking. You're going to know where the liquidity zones are. You're going to see the Bitcoin heat map. You're going to see analysis on XRP's price action and Bitcoin's price action. We're also going to see some of the Q3 reports as institutional players drive XRP demand higher. We'll take a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map. As yesterday, it gave us a nice um, bit of info to tell us exactly where we should be going next. And then we'll also take a look at the Ripple XRP liquidation zones. We'll look at the short first longs over the last 24 hours. We'll take a look at the long short ratio and some of the open interest so we can see exactly where Bitcoin uh, XRP is going over this thinly traded weekend. And then we'll also look at the Crypto Fear and Greed Index as it did touch extreme greed in the last day and a half or so. So generally for me, I'm not looking to buy an extreme greed. I'm looking to buy in fear and extreme fear. So we'll see where we transpire at in this morning update. And hopefully by the time we leave, you'll have a lot more information and you'll have a lot more data at your hand so you can make an informed and educated decision over this thinly traded weekend so with that being said please make sure to hit that like button as i do hit the intro i like giving the little bit of a foreshadowing on what's going to happen in the updates i went away from that for some time but as i stated yesterday i feel like i wasn't doing my 100 percent best so i think yesterday i knocked it out of the park and i think today we're going to continue doing the same replace a positivity here over negativity we are winners here not victims so we want all the information from a news and charting perspective alike so we can make an educated and informed decision and we don't prescribe to the darkness i'm sick of all the hate so i'm changing the way i do things to the love so to foreshadow the hate that's in this world and you can feel it prevalent everywhere i'm putting in that strong love so love over hate and the darkness is always outdone by the light the good so good morning 9, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Saturday, November 2nd, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. As we go into my favorite season of the year, winter. I love the winter wonderland. As you can see, I have a nice little background and get familiar with it because I'm going to be in the spirit for the next two months. As this is my favorite time of the year. And, uh... I like to think that we have the, the spirit of love that shines through at these times. So right now we've got XRP down 0.43%. So I'd like to start on the charts. And it's going to be for a different reason this morning. Yes, we have this chart. And we know the target's below. But I don't want to keep these lines here. I'd like to make this a little bit more transparent. Get rid of this. Get rid of these. Couldn't care less about this. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. So... And I don't care about any of this anymore because we're going to open this up. Because now we know we fell through that short-term formation. So in the four hourly right now, we're set up within a wider pattern. We've got a pattern that's been set up here just from the consolidation. Um, and if we take this out, I wanted to actually draw this out in 100% entirety. Like that's the short part of the pattern, but there's actually a much wider part of this pattern. So if you come through right here, we're actually going to start to build this the way it's going to start to form here soon. And in the short term, sometimes I like to draw just the short term charts. But you know what? I just want everybody to see what is actually capable of here. So if this were to actually break down the support structure here at, what is this right now? 40 cents, 40.5. You're actually talking about that 33.6 underneath. So I want to make sure that we have all the numbers in front of us. So, hey, if we take that bearish route, we don't have to guess. We don't have to second guess. We can say, you know what, we're not ready yet. And <clears throat> just in the market conditions, with that gigantic bear flag, with the death cross and the daily, you know, there's a lot of things that are pointing to the fact that we could be taking that downward route. And I would actually, I'm planning for that. I'm planning for the downward route. I'm stacking up money on BitUnix so that I can buy IOTA, IOTX, Algo. Um, and then if I can buy extra XRP, I definitely will. And the cool thing about BitUnix now is they just started their copy trading. Now, you're more than welcome to join me on copy trading. You won't see a trade in the near future because I'm waiting until we start to hit some of these finite levels to where I know whether we're going to break down all the way to 40 cents or we're going to start taking that bear flag down 
or if we're going to come back up here and this is going to create some kind of w reverse and we're going to retest that 58 cent mark so i'm choosing to sit from the sidelines and leverage standpoint because i want to do these as a these will be grand scale positions there's not going to be any stop losses so if you do join you're going to have to be willing to risk you know there's 170 bucks in my account on the leverage on copy trade on um bit unix for when i want to do it so that's all you need to participate so it's up to you to look for it but just go in there knowing that these are going to be long scale trades these aren't like what we were doing on the other copy trades this is how i actually trade so this is 100% linked to my account. There's no, hey, I got to do 10% stop losses to save the feelings of some. Nope. We're going to be doing this normal. So if you are participating in that in the weeks to come, a few people have signed up. No trades have taken place. Like I said, it's just putting the word out there. It finally became available on BitUnix yesterday. So I was excited to see that. So if you would like to join, video description below under pinned comments. Join me on BitUnix. I'm XRP Future Millionaire in the copy trade. And that's my permanent home. I'm not going nowhere else. I love BitUnix, so the fact they finally have it, we don't have to go through the shortcomings of other exchanges, we can take it transparently. So anyhow, that's all I'm going to talk about that, but I would like you to get your exchanges right while we're looking at the time of accumulation before we get there. So before we have drops that could be coming, if these bear flags play out, I want you to be ready for when XRP is at 41, 42, 40 and a half cents. I want you to be ready for when IOTA comes down to possibly 6 cents and IOTX comes down below 1.7 cents. I want you to be ready for these moments. I want you to be ready. I want you to be ready for when VLO comes down to 0 .009 and then maybe further. And that's on Hotcoin. So there's many different avenues in the video description below and our pinned comments to where you can get on the right page. Join me on BitUnix. Worldwide, you can trade XRP. Lowest spot in leverage trading fees I found. Get acclimated to the leverage side of it as well. Because once you get the leverage down, it's so much easier to do your spot positioning. If you can do this at a 10x positioning, it's so much easier to do it at 1x when you're buying spot. Or 1x when you're trying to find your lower of lows. It's so much easier to look at it. So I'm offering you an opportunity to get familiar with the copy or the future side without having to go 100% in it yourself. So if you want to take advantage of that, you are more than welcome to join me, and I would love to have you on board. I would love it. I would love to see new members in Tom's Army. I would love to see some YouTube Super Chats to open it up this month, or at least sometime in the month. I would love to see people joining the channel and sharing it and sharing what we can do here. We've got a lot of ability here. We have a lot of untapped potential that we are tapping into now, and you know, 30% of that untapped potential is because we're being much too you know, um, judgmental, I believe in myself. So too much judging of others. So now it's going to be more inclusive. So this is what I'm looking at for XRP. So we got 58.86 over the top, but you can't even get there is the problem until you break some of the short term levels. And we know one of the big ones, we know one of the big ones that we just, for whatever reason, we just can't get over. First one was 52.4. Then we got 52.8 over the top right here. So this pattern, it looks like it's starting to fade a little bit here we've got that dot cross in the daily that i am 100 percent talking about every single day we got the rejection in the 20 day so this looks like a bearish proposition here down to 47.71 would be the technical drop out of the short term formation and then you start looking at it from the longer perspective we know where this can break we know we came out of well that's stellar but we know we can break and if we break down, I mean, there's a couple different areas. If we break that 4770 that we talked about on the 2018 resistance that is acting as support the last month and a half or two, which took over six and a half years to break that resistance, if that breaks, then our next drop down would be around 40.48 cents. I mean, there's really no, it's actually 42. I would actually give a lot more credentials here to 40, uh, 41 and a half even. But I, I would look more at the 42 cents because that's the 2020 uptrend understanding full well that you can have a wick below it so there's a lot going on here and that's from the bear flag estimate so when that bear flag broke that rising channel that was our drop down 42 cents was our technical target we created a short-term technical target out of the short-term formation down to 47.71 if we lose that so now we got to get we got to get acclimated to see where we're actually going bitcoin's up about 65 bucks on the day 67,968 is where I was anticipating a retest if we were going to hold. We have not satisfied that tap yet. Um, and that's on the outside of this megaphone pattern. But I have a strong suspicion that when we come down here, we're probably going to have a quick wick down to like 64. 
And I'll show you on the heat liquidation map for Bitcoin why I believe that. And then if it comes down farther, we could certainly see a setup there. Now, over the top, there's not much liquidations. Now, we do have shorts that are taken out. So if we go over the top and take these shorts out, you can certainly do that by going long here by the Bitcoin price. And it could take out the several hundred million above us. But we'll take a look at the heat liquidation map. And it's going to tell us a hell of a lot. We got the megaphone pattern with the cup and handle. We've got several targets. The first target was to hit the all-time high at 73,697. If you got over that and held, it would have been the first short pattern out of this megaphone, the shorter part of the width of the formation. And that would have got you to 78,609. You hold that, it gives you the long width of the megaphone pattern or the handle formation up to 86,000. And then if it played true through all of this and held 86, the technical target out of the cup and handle with the entirety of the cup is 115,000. So right now it looks like it's just back testing until it doesn't. So unless it breaks down, it's back testing. So that's something to consider. Now we're gonna get on our horsey here and get some of this information. So the Bitcoin heat liquidation map. So above us, we can see at 74K, we got about a 250 million. If you go up a little bit higher, so there's, you got about a billion dollars here. If you go a couple billion dollars as you go up, 74 million is about 361 million you come up here into this zone 444 million at 73k so between 73 and 75 there's about two and a half to three billion dollars of liquidations that could take place here on leverage now if you look below us where we seem to be trending on this bear flag you can see a lot more money below us no i guess not a lot more but you got a lot of money below us still and there's areas of this where you start breaking into here and you're looking and you're like, holy shit, there's a lot of money just below us. So are we going to go up here again? Or are we going to come down here and clear all of this liquidation before we go into discovery? I think we're going to clear, before we get into discovery, because I've heard the, I've heard a lot of people say, well, you know, we're in discovery now, so we should be going up after the back test. Well, that is true. But being in discovery, I'm yet to see in discovery where they don't come down and take this huge liquidation. And I want to show you the billion dollar liquidation zone in the monthly. So if you come down here to 64,550, there's 1.1 billion at 64,550. And that's why I think we're going to come down to around that 64K area. Look at all that liquidation here. Now, if you want to look at the strongest liquidation zone available on Bitcoin, it's right there at 64,550. That's 1.1 billion. That is a huge, huge liquidation at 64,550. Even if you go over the top, there's nothing even close. You've got some liquidation of 430 million at, 30, at the 73,700. You got a little bit, 73,000 and above is some liquidations. However, I doubt they're going to go up there first. Unless you see volume just coming in at an unprecedented level here. But 1.2 billion is at 64,650. I mean, it's coming to that 64,600 area. It has to. It's yet to me seeing, in my own knowledge, they don't leave these liquidation zones. These are long liquidations. So somebody's longing it. And if it comes back down to 64,650, the cumulative effect would be at $1.2 billion liquidations out of Bitcoin leverage traders. And that's from a monthly perspective. That is huge. So pay attention to the heat liquidation map. XRP liquidation so we can get a better uh, understanding. In the last 24 hours, we've had 1.3 million in liquidations. 1.2 million came in longs. 116.7 thousand came in shorts. So a lot of longs being liquidated versus shorts, which is absolutely the way it should be right now. You can see some of these liquidation zones. You had some people make profit here, 323,000 on that quick kick up. And now it's back to liquidations. Um, and then if we want to start looking at it, the open interest right now, we've got on Bybit, we've got 257 million right now in the last 24 hours on open interest. Binance, 211 million. OKX, 50.6. Bitmax, 7.5. Kraken, 4.5. Bitfinex, 3.4 million. Huobi, 3.2. And Wuwak, 611,000. And that's the open interest right now. We have a open interest change over the last 24 hours we had 538.7 for all open interest that's down 1.68 percent futures open interest is up 1.19 percent um which is interesting so a lot more futures trading than spot and then if we want to take one more look here we got the long short ratio here we've got in the five minute we've got 71.75 percent going long compared to 28.25 percent going short that's a 2.54 to one going long over short generally 
you don't go with the consensus. It'll go the opposite way. So a lot of greed right now, as you can see, even in these leverage trades. 30 minute, 2.55 to 171.82%. Uh, longs, the 28.18% shorts. Same exact setup for the one hourly as the half hour. The four hourly has 2.54 to one on long the shorts. 71.77% are going long. 28.23% are going short. And in the daily time frame, on the one day for XRP, 2.57 to one are going long to short. 71.99% are going long. 28.01% are going short. So we've got a big differential here on longs to shorts here, ladies and gentlemen. Massive differential. And now for the last thing I want to go over is Ripple Report Strong Q3 as institutional players drive XRP demand. So I don't want to go through the brief. I'd like to read this whole thing. So Ripple experienced notable growth in the third quarter. The firm saw a boost in transaction volume on the XRP ledger and an increase in institutional interest in the XRP token. This development comes as the firm continues to fight its case against the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. Ripple's XRP finds institutional traction as trading volume surge. Ripple reported heightened institutional interest in XRP, partly driven by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's waning credibility in the crypto space. Several financial heavyweights, including the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, CME, introduced new XRP offerings over the quarter. CME unveiled an XRP reference price while bit nominal announced plans for XRP Futures product. Further prominent firms like Bitwise, Canary, and 21st Shares, 21 Shares, filed to launch exchange traded fund ETF centered on XRP. Also, Grayscale introduced an XRP trust alongside efforts to transition its digital large cap fund, which includes Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, XRP, and ABEX into an ETF. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse noted that these filings are a testament to strong institutional demand for XRP products. According to him, the SEC's prolonged challenges in regulating crypto have weakened its stance, further diminishing its influence over the sector. The message from the market is clear. Institutional interest in XRP products is stronger than ever. The SEC's war on crypto has lost, it's, has lost battle after battle. Their continued disregard for the court's authority will further erode the SEC's credibility and reputation, Garland House stated. Meanwhile... <clears throat> The rise in institutional interest led to elevated XRP trading volumes. Average daily volumes, ADV on top exchanges, range between 600 and 700 million with a 27% increase in the XRP Bitcoin ratio over the quarter. Ripple explained that trading on Binance, Bybit, and Upbit averaged around 750 million during the early part of Q3 before stabilizing mid-quarter and rising again in September's final days. Moreover, the XRP Ledger Network also saw its transaction volume nearly double during the period. According to the report, the network's total transactions rose from 86.4 million in Q2 to 172.6 million in Q3 2024. Ripple clarified that this increase was primarily due to microtransactions, often less than one XRP each, likely part of span campaign. Despite the increase in activity, much of it involved small volume transactions so total on-chain volume did not see a significant rise the uptick was primarily driven by microtransactions less than one xrp which appeared to be part of a spam messaging campaign ripple explained additionally the total value lock tvl within ripple's automated market makers amms more than doubled during the period it rose from 8.5 million to 16.2 million. However, average transactions costs on the network dropped with fees declining by 32% from 0.00394 XRP to 0.00269 XRP per transaction. So that's just an update on the institutional players that are driving the XRP demand higher. So even though the price has been going down, the demand is driving higher as we go. It's a good sign. Crypto fear and greed index. I know it's at 75 still, but I consider that extreme greed still. You got to be very careful. It, well, now it's at 72, 75 yesterday. We had 77 extreme greed two days ago. So to me, you buy in fear and you sell in greed. So this is not the spot. If you're looking for spot positions, we, we got to wait for the next drop down. Greed is much too high. That's why you're seeing on the leverage side, 72% is taking out longs right now compared to only about 28% are taking shorts out for XRP. You're starting to see that greed driving everybody. So be very, very careful when we're in greed. This is often the times of great uncertainty. So just watch how this plays out this week and pay attention to the levels, pay attention to liquidity maps and such. Make sure to hit that like button before you leave so YouTube does recommend this live. A lot of information here and it would be a shame if some didn't get to see it. So let's force YouTube to pass the content around. Make sure you hit that like button and take this from a point of positivity as you leave here.
Don't forget to give the thanks to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on this most holy of days. And stay in that positive light. Other than that, I'll catch you guys later. It's going to be a busy day for me, but I'll try to do a short here in a few hours.